Space is a place where millions of people dream of going, but returning safely from there is an extraordinary achievement in itself. Whenever a person goes to space, the biggest question is whether he will return safely. This question becomes even more important when we look back in history. 1st February 2003 was a black day for the whole world. That day, the Columbia Space Shuttle disintegrated as soon as it entered the Earth's atmosphere and seven astronauts aboard it died. One of those seven people was Kalpana Chawla. This woman scientist of Indian origin created history by going to space, but her tragic death shook the whole world. Today, exactly 22 years later, another woman of Indian origin, Sunita Williams, has returned from space, but was her return safe? Was history going to repeat itself again, or did science and technology win this time? This is the story of her exciting, challenging and historical mission. Sunita Williams's name needs no introduction. She was born on 19 September 1965 in Ohio, USA. Although she is an American citizen, her Indian connection comes from her father, Deepak Pandya. Sunita, who was of Indian origin, was influenced by science and space since childhood. She started her career as a pilot in the US Navy and later joined the list of NASA astronauts. In 2006, she went on a space mission for the first time and stayed in the International Space Station ISS for 195 days. She also holds the record of the woman who has done the most spacewalks. In 2023, when NASA planned to send her on a new space mission, it was more exciting than ever. But this mission was as great as it was challenging. Thousands of preparations are already done for space travel. From mission planning to the choice of technology, everything is closely examined, but still no mission is 100% safe. The same happened in this mission as well. According to the plan of this mission, the flight started. Sunita Williams and her team were sent to the International Space Station ISS in June 2023. Originally, this mission was for only eight days. That is, they were going to return after eight days. What happened, but due to some technical flaws, their return was postponed for about nine months. This situation is not safe at all. It is very difficult for an astronaut. Living in space is as exciting as it seems. In reality, it is as dangerous as it is. At any time, there can be a problem with oxygen, water or technical equipment. This is the reason why returning is the most important phase for every astronaut. Why is the return so dangerous? Whenever a spacecraft enters the Earth's atmosphere, it travels at a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour. Due to such high speed, friction is created on the outer part of the shuttle due to which its temperature can reach 1,600 degrees. This is the most dangerous situation. This is what happened in the Columbia accident. When the Columbia Space Shuttle entered the Earth's atmosphere on February 1, 2003, its heat shield was damaged. Due to high friction and extreme temperature, the outer part of the shuttle started burning. Soon, the entire spacecraft broke down and started burning, and all the seven astronauts aboard were killed. This incident was a warning for scientists around the world. After this, NASA and other space agencies started paying more attention to safety in space missions. Earlier, this mission was to be completed through Boeing Company's space shuttle, but then the biggest twist happened. Boeing helium gas started leaking in the space shuttle of 2010. This made it impossible to carry forward the mission and the mission of three days became nine months long. When the US government and NASA had no other solution left, then Elon Musk's company SpaceX accepted this challenge. SpaceX prepared its Dragon spacecraft for this mission and finally worked to bring Sunita Williams and her team back from space. The night was 2.41 a.m., but this time the technology of SpaceX showed its magic. The shuttle's heat shield proved to be completely effective. Despite enduring a temperature of 1600 degrees Celsius, there was no damage to the spacecraft. Gradually, the speed decreased and the shuttle kept moving in its designated direction. At 3.27 a.m., when the Dragon shuttle of SpaceX landed in the Atlantic Ocean, scientists of the whole world heaved a sigh of relief. The rescue team was already ready, and they immediately took out the astronauts. Sunita Williams and her team were completely safe. After medical checkup, everyone was found healthy. This was a historic victory for both NASA and SpaceX. When Sunita Williams and her team went into space, no one had thought that they would, you will be stuck there for nine months and 13 days. 
It is not easy to spend such a long period in space. There are many problems there which every astronaut has to face. There is almost no gravity in space. It is difficult for the human body to live in a state of zero gravity. Bones start weakening. Muscles start shrinking. Heart and blood circulation are affected. Even eyesight can decrease. Living in a closed environment for so many months is very challenging mentally. Distance from family. Psychological stress. Loneliness and anxiety for a long time. The food that astronauts eat is specially prepared, but the mind gets bored by eating the same food for months. The supply of water and oxygen is limited and any disturbance can endanger life. That is why when Sunita Williams and her team came to know that their return is getting delayed, it was a big challenge for them, mentally and physically. Elon Musk's company SpaceX has completely changed space travel in recent years. Earlier, NASA and other government agencies had a monopoly on space missions, but now private companies are also participating in it. SpaceX Dragon Its specialty is that it is a Ryu Jabal spacecraft, which can be used again and again. It has modern heat shield technology, which keeps it safe during entry into the atmosphere. It is equipped with automatic navigation system so that it can control itself even without a human. It has already completed successful missions for NASA. This was the reason that when Boeing's spacecraft failed, NASA turned to SpaceX to solve this challenge. When a spacecraft returns to Earth, it has two options. Runway landing where the spacecraft lands on the ground like an airplane. Splash down where the spacecraft is dropped into the sea. This time, Sunita Williams and her team had to splash down in the Atlantic Ocean. If the spacecraft fell at the wrong angle, it could have overturned in the sea. The force of hitting the water surface is very high, which could have hurt the astronauts. If the weather was bad during landing, the rescue team would have had difficulty reaching them. But due to the advanced technology of SpaceX, this landing was completely successful. Can humans reach Mars? Now when space travel has become safer than ever before, then the next big question is whether humans can settle on Mars. It takes only three days to reach the moon from Earth, but it may take seven or two months to reach Mars. Heavy fuel is needed. A lot of fuel will be needed for such a long journey, which is difficult to meet with current technology. There is a lot of radiation in space, which can be very harmful for the human body. There is no oxygen there. There is a lot of water availability. The atmosphere there is very cold and dry. However, both Elon Musk and NASA are working fast on this mission. Will space travel be possible for common people in the future? Earlier space travel was limited to scientists and astronauts only, but now it is going to change. In 2021, the first private spaceflight was launched in collaboration with Arjan founder Jeff Bezos and SpaceX. Now space companies are planning to take common people to space as well. In the coming years, people who can spend a lot of money will be able to go to space for a few days. At present, the cost of a space trip is in crores of dollars, but as the technology develops, its cost will decrease. Perhaps in the future, people will be able to travel by rocket-like plane. Sunita Williams of Indian Origin His contribution once again brought glory to India and the entire world. His mission proved that scientists of Indian origin are no less than anyone else. This mission showed that private companies can also achieve success in space missions. This was a huge step for the future of space exploration. This mission was an important signal for the Mars mission. Humans can soon dream of settling on the moon and Mars. What are your thoughts? Would you like to travel in space? Do you think that humans will settle on Mars in the next 50 years? Comment and give your opinion.